Thank you for tuning in to Seriously Podcast. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play at Seriously Podcast, as well as on the Indie Creative Network. Please like, rate, review, and subscribe, and spread the word. Let the people know about your new favorite podcast. Thanks again for tuning in, and enjoy the show. What's the price for my life? What's the price for my life? Not enough, not nearly. Not enough, not nearly. What's the price for my life? What's the price for my life? Not enough, not nearly. Not enough, not nearly. They want me to sell my soul, cause I don't have money to blow. Money to blow. They want me to sell my soul, cause I don't have money to blow. Money to blow. Money to blow. Money to blow. Hey guys, I'm Brittany. And I'm Mary. And welcome to Seriously Podcast. Hey y'all. Um, today we are talking about the ad. We're finishing it up. We're doing episodes five, six, and seven. Um, a lot went down this episode. Yes, a lot went down. Can't wait to get into it. So, oh, before we before we do that, mm. we just have one quick announcement. Urban Web Series Summit is coming up soon, guys. Yes. Last day to submit is May fifteenth. Yes. If you're a creator of a web series. Or you have a podcast that you want to submit, submit that thing. Submit it, y'all. So, y'all. <laughs> um, yes. We'll put a link to that as well in our description box. Make sure you guys be a part of it. Yes. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be in August. So, um, get ready for it. Yeah, get ready for it, y'all. So, with that being said, today we are getting into episode five, six, and seven of The Ave. Yeah. A season lot, one. yeah. Season one, we're finishing up season one. A lot went down. A lot did go down. I mean, it was three episodes. Yeah, heavy hitters, just <laughs> crazy. Yes. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started, y'all. I just wanna feel alive when I lose control. Pass me the handy on the rocks, getting me ready for everything. Everything coming, everything coming. Stay in the sun, cause shady niggas always be up to something. Fuck it. Spend a half a paycheck on Mary, just marry me. I want all of your sweet nectar from your Okay, so episode five starts off with Nate. He's having a little daddy and mini me day with yes. Nate Jr. You know, they throw in the football, he chasing him around. So sweet. Taking a walk, you know, having a talk about life mm. and you know, how's mm-hmm. life going, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. So Nate gets a call from the mystery man again, like the one who well, called him. So, I'm sorry, he asked about his mother, so I guess it's him and Ebony not together. I guess point. not, because he's talking about like, oh, how's your mom doing? As if right. you don't know. You don't know. You haven't <laughs> seen her. So okay, whatever. So mystery guy calls and he's like, like father, like son. <laughs> your little man looks like you. <laughs> so Nate is looking around, paranoid. You know, right. he's like, so you you still not gonna show yourself? And the guy says, you know, not until I get my money. And then it's like, oh, don't worry, that day gonna come. Mm-hmm. If you mess with my family, we're gonna have a problem. And the guy's like, don't worry about that. It might or it might not happen. And Play then he game. starts babbling, and <laughs> Nate just hangs up on him. He's, He's like, like, I don't have time. For like, I do not have time for it. I don't know At what you're all. talking about. So he takes his son to the barbershop, you know, the barber dropping knowledge about the married Ooh. life. What happened? That barber, he kept saying the same thing over and over again. <laughs> that barber, he was. He was. He's like, you took your vows, so you have to find a healthy balance. He just kept saying, you took your vows. Remember like, y'all love each other. Remember y'all love each other. Remember you're married. Remember you took your vows. Remember you love each other. <laughs> remember you're married, and remember you took your vows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so Nate took that advice. So the next scene, Sashay and Ebony are in the park, um, you know, enjoying the, yes. relaxing, enjoying the breeze. Yes, yes. So Sashay takes a phone call and she walks off. Then Ebony peeps his paper in her wallet, which, by the way, who keeps important documents just in their, in their wallet just out? Like, okay. So Ebony, she knows she want to be nosy okay. and she reads it and it's in an eviction notice. Mm, and he, she mad. She mad. When was you going to tell me about this, huh? Huh? When the time was right. I, I can't believe this shit. Listen, I just got tired of always running to people when I have a problem. I just want to take care of this myself. I'm your sister, all right? I'm always going to have your back. I know, but you know, mom used to always tell us that you got to put in something to get something, and I feel like I haven't put in anything. Yes, you have. What? You put in sisterhood. <laughs> and you're always here when I need you to be. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So they have their moment, and it's like, girl, I got you. Don't worry about it. Like, come on. Sister, I'm your are? sister. Sister, sister. So. Sister! <laughs> sister! So next scene, 
Um, Nate is enjoying the day. Everybody's enjoying the day in the neighborhood. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Yes, yeah. it is. So he minds his own business, and then Mike rolls up on him. Well, first of all, this Mike character is doing pull-ups on the street. <laughs> Hood workout. Hood workout. Hood workout. What are you doing? Yes, he got to get those reps in. So um, Mike snatches headphones off of Nate, and he want to know where Sergio at. You know, Sergio is wanted. He's an intern. Yeah, he's, 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 an intern. he's a wanted man. Um, so Nate is like, what are you looking for him for? So Ed's like, they, he killed my boy Ed in the alleyway. Yeah, Mike's like, they must keep you in the dark. Yeah. Like, how you don't know? How you don't know what's going on right now? You over here jonesing in the street, right. bopping. Taking your time. Come on. So I'm like Ed is dead. Like yeah, Ed is said, dead. Killed my my dude Ed in that yes, alleyway. Yes, Ed is dead, that y'all. Was the alleyway. That, it was it was it was something. <laughs> so Nate was like, Nah, nah, chill. That wasn't yeah, him. Either. That wasn't him. Oh. That Sergio wouldn't do that. That's not so Sergio. nah, which out it you wouldn't believe it to be. <laughs> so, um, so Nate is like, Listen, all y'all know how to do is hide behind a bullet. Real men know how to throw these hands. Mm. My, my kids basically like, it's war. Right. I don't care what you're talking about right now, but it's war. That's it. Bottom line. Yeah. yeah. So Nate leaves Lieutenant Goon. Um, <laughs> Goon. He's, he's like, I'm strapped. We can handle this right now. Yeah. Boy, have a seat. Go ahead. Okay. He's ready. Sit down, boy. like, nah, I got something for him. And then Goon's like, nah, I got it right now. Yeah, right oh, now. I'm like, boy, shut up. I said, <laughs> I got something. Let me handle this. That's it. Come he's on. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> So then, uh, Nate finds Sergio chilling, chilling at home, legs on the couch, up, relaxing, relaxing like he didn't just bite somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what? what? Stop. 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 So Nate busts in like, "What the hell did you do?" Mm-hmm. And Sergio's like, "I have a headache." Right, playing games. But he's smiling. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Sergio. Sergio's like, "I got a headache." So Nate, <laughs> he asks him again, and Sergio's like, "I don't know what you're talking about." So Nate goes to the couch, you know, he starts looking for something. He finds the knife Sergio used. Like yes. this silly boy just wrapped it up in some tissue paper and left it under the under cushion. The couch, this silly boy. Silly boy. So Nate is like, oh hell no. Is this his blood? Like, is right. this his blood? Sergio's like, I don't have time for this. I got nothing to say, so step off. <laughs> so you make it. Step off. That's how he sound. <laughs> so Nate is like, boy, stop reaching. Your arms are too short. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sergio's like, get out. <laughs> Nate is like, you gonna make me? <laughs> Nate is like, you gonna make me? Then make me. Hmm? Is that what he said? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. He said, like, you gonna make me? Then make me. So they having a stare down. And at this point, I'm thinking they about to kiss because they are way so too stupid. close to He's each so other. Stupid. So Nate is like, who put you up to this? And Sergio is like, you taught me to never reveal Right, my you course. taught me. Now you're and, like, and now look at you. You lost. Like, <laughs> I also told you never to blink and keep your eyes open 24-7. Mm-hmm. You're failing. It's, you failed. <laughs> you fired, first of all, from this internship. Right. So you said, yeah, well, that's what happened when someone messing with someone I love. Mm. And then it's like, it was Bones, wasn't it? Right, right. Well, did you get the MFI on, on Ed? We're back to the MFI. And we're always going to be on the MFI. It's always about the MFI. It's always about the MFI. And Sergio is mad confident. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mm-hmm. did. I did. What happened? What You're going to be proud of me. You're going to be proud of me. <laughs> And it was like, well, because if you did, you would know that Ed's father is Ronnie, who happens to be the head of the cartel. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, wait, no. She <laughs> shook. She, he's like, no, I thought the trap gods were. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, the trap gods work for Ronnie, you dumb dumb. He's been the kingpin for decades. Yes. Says so I got to take a seat because he's stressed out. He's stressed. So then Nate says. What happens if Ed dies? Mm-hmm. I'm confused. I'm point. confused. Because a few scenes ago, <laughs> maybe one scene, one scene ago, <laughs> literally, Mike said Ed was dead. So in the someone alleyway. did not get the MFI. Somebody is telling lies. Somebody's lying in these streets. But Sergio goes, he'll make it. How you know? <laughs> you don't know. I'm confused now. You a yeah. doctor? How, how you do don't you know? know. You were just lounging on your couch. Yeah, you, you, don't, don't, know you don't even care. So Nate is like, it's niggas like you that end up dead in these streets because you're so ready to get in that ring. You don't even know who you battling out here. You don't. So he said, so what you're going to do is take this money, pack your bags, and dip, okay? Mm-hmm. You got any family out state? <laughs> yeah, Philly. I got an aunt in Philly. <laughs> He's like, okay, well, you're going to go stay with her for about five, six months. Yes, half a year. He was like, and then Sergio's going to have the nerve to say, no, Mm -hmm. I'm not running. (laughs) 
And they is boy, like, if you don't this pack is a your do bag. or die situation. Boy, get the hell up out of here. <laughs> Why are you like, still I'm here? I'm tired of running. You've been running this entire time. I'm so confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. And Nate, is, Nate had enough. He said, I'll visit you at your funeral. I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yes. So next scene, Keith and his homeboy Ray, they're headed to the gambling game and um, they notice his security at the door. So they're freaking out. They're like, oh, what you going to do? You know, he's strapped. So they end up hiding the um, gun in somebody's yard, stashing it. Front yard. Front yard. Front yard. Front yard. <laughs> right in the grass. Right in the grass. Come on. <laughs> so Ray um, then introduces him to Slime, who's running the whole game, and then they head inside. So that has that episode in, so we're about to go see what goes down at that game right now. All right, so episode six, the mood is set. You know, there's women serving drinks, good vibes, you know. All the guys are at the table, seated mm-hmm. at the table, about to get into this gambling at game. The table. Um Keith is undefeated. You know, he went in big money. He went in all the games or whatever. So, like, they end the night. When the game, when the games, when the games, when the games end, Slime tells Keith, you know, he and his friend make a lot of money doing this, and he's trying to put him on. But Keith is like, nah, that part of my life is over. So Slime is like, all right, well, holler at me if you ever change your mind. <laughs> so then Keith and Ray, they headed home, and it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we this did is it for DJ. DJ. <laughs> this was a little saint. They was, that's what I felt it was. <laughs> it was. They were so proud of themselves, so but proud. what did they do? <laughs> I guess they won the money. This is going to be the money that Nate can give to the muffled people on the phone. So this so, is so they could find out who off DJ. Yeah, I thought originally I thought they went to this game because maybe the guys who are playing the game might know some information. MFI. MFI. So they were gonna play with them, drink no. with them, because they all said it's easy money, enough money to find out who killed DJ. Got That's it, what Ray it. has said. But anyway, they head home and the idiots forgot about the gun. They forgot about the gun, and I see him get his money either. At all. I ain't seen no transactions. At all. <laughs> so I'm confused. Y'all leaving. Get your money. Get your gun. You did it for Lil Saint? Did you do it for Lil Saint? <laughs> so, hey girl. <laughs> so next scene, um, Stacey's going off at the mouth to Nate. You know, Mama is upset. She's smiling first. Time. Yes. And she's, she's, she's mad. She's like, where you been? You know, where you been? Who you was with? You was with your wife? Come on, you was with your son. Um, so she hits him with the ultimatum. I called you four times, Nate. What you was doing? Hmm? Yo, I already told you I was with my son, right? And Ebony. You was with your son and Ebony, right? And if I was? Like, what's the problem? You know what? You need to make a decision. It's either going to be them or it's going to be me. Girl. Why do women think that? Girl. Why do women think Why? that? Why? You think you're above my son and my wife? What? Just because I'm play, play, playing house with you? You? Girl, come on. on, especially the son. What you mean? I could see, okay, pick me over, you know, your wife, you know, leave her for me. I could see them being like in the head to say that, but you think I'm gonna leave my son for you? you? No, no, no. You're a dreamer, that's for sure. You're reaching. <laughs> okay, so, um, I don't know what that means. So, Nate is like, you're gonna have to calm down because I'm sick of reminding you. Mm. All right, so. She's like, oh, yeah, well, how about I remind your wife? He said, you want to do that? For real? She said, yes, yes, I do, I do. So he's like, come here. So he takes it to the mirror. He's like, what do you see? You know, he's kissing on her, making her feel cute. She's like, oh. yeah, already she forgetting why. She, she forget was why. Upset. You were just going yeah. off. All you needed? Yeah. Is that what you telling me? All you needed was That's- love and affection? <laughs> <laughs> That's all she needed. So, you know, he's kissing on her neck, and then she's, um, she, he asks her, like, what do you see? So she's, like, getting all giddy. She's like, I see us. I see us. So he's like, oh, really? Well, let me tell you what I see. So she's, like, getting, she's still happy. Yeah. And then he says, I see a married man. As soon as he said that, her demeanor changed. Yeah. She was like, like, what's he about to, where's he going with this? So he's like, I see a married man holding a woman that just wants to be seen. So she's like, she wants to get off she of him. To cry. Oh, yeah. She ready to cry. She ready to cry. She's trying to get out his arm. He's like, listen, Linda, 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 listen, listen. Let me explain. Let me explain. He's like, a mirror is supposed to reflect mm. someone that is actually doing something with themselves. And you're the complete opposite. 
Opposite. So instead of trying to be seen in the light, mm. keep your dumb ass in the dark. Because <laughs> that's that's your lane, okay? Right. You can never get that chance, okay? Okay, okay sweetheart? Okay. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I hate you, Nate. I really hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Jody. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you remember what your life was like before I came along and changed it? Well, I could turn it back around that fast. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. He's like, all right, good. Have my dinner ready when I get home. And bounces. Yeah. Dang, oh. Stace. Dang. He, I felt bad for her. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I did, low key. Feel low key, bad. low key. She's lost. I mean, she's she's lost. lost. And he's not. He's playing her. He's playing her hard body. Hard. And he, like, he's holding it over her head. Right, because she used to be a stripper. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. So, he took her out the strip club, Stevie. Stevie, Stevie, you know what I mean? <laughs> you think you're going to put me back in the strip club? Yes. So she, she's lost. She's real lost right now. So Nate is walking, and he see his friend Stoop Kid, right? Stoop Kid is Stoop sitting kid? on the stoop. Who's Stoop Kid? <laughs> Who is that guy? Stoop kid. stoop kid is sitting on the stoop. And he's like, yo, I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost or something. Like, what's up? You ain't going to say hi? <laughs> so Nate was like, what's up? So, you know, they chopping it up, and then the guy says... Bones had me all the way in Jersey putting in work. Like, for real, I'm not feeling that or whatever. Nah, nah. So Nate is like, by the way, have you seen Bones? Speaking of, right. <laughs> Speaking of that nigga Bones, have you seen him? Nah. You really need to stop using my name to cool off when he in hot water. I know that. Yeah. Well, he in a situation that he can't cool off with. What? What yeah. this nigga do now? Yo, he got us all in some shit, yo. But Nate is like, he got us all in some something yes. right now. He's like, yo, I swear to God, when I see him, though, the guy's like, don't even stress that, all right? <laughs> what we need to focus on is who off DJ, okay? That's our main priority. priority. Everybody's worried about DJ except for Nate. It's, who's he worried about, though? <laughs> oh, no. He's just going to be walking around stressed, like, but who are you worried about? Because everyone, I feel like everyone has to bring him down, like, <laughs> this is about DJ. We got to do it for a little saint. Like, like, this is it. What did you think? And <laughs> Nate's like, nah, nah. What? What? So, exactly. Nate is like, yeah, but I'm worried. And the guy's like, worried about what? Like, when's the last time somebody ran up on you and you they got you all shook? Like, right. Like, Who What's are you on? right now? Yes. And Nate, Nate all of a sudden switches it up. He said, you know I ain't scared of nothing, but, you know, they're going to retaliate. What? <laughs> Which Maybe one is it? <laughs> Nate is going through a lot right now. I think he's more worried <laughs> about the Stacy situation than the DJ situation. He just got a lot going he on. He got a lot. Life. He got a lot. So this guy's like, so let them do it. Like, let them do it. Like, you know we make moves without making noise. Like, let them try mm. something, all right? Um, we scared. But that nigga Bones, he got another thing coming to him. So everybody is out for Bones. Now. Everybody out We've for all bones. moved our focus to Bones. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So next thing you know, Ali, she on the phone again. Stay on the phone. Allie. She'll learn her lesson. <laughs> She'll never learn her She'll lesson. She'll never learn her lesson. Sergio runs to her and he hugs her. Embrace And you. mama looks completely fine. Fine. Like, she's thinking, oh, he's just happy to see her. Yes. She's like, oh, my baby is happy to right. see me. And he's like, thank God you are right. And she's like, I'm good. What you talking about? What? What's what happening? <laughs> and Sergio's like, Bone says some dudes jumped you and you were in the hospital. And she was like, I was just at my homegirl's house. I just was getting away from the drama. Getting That's away it. From all this drama. That's all. I'm, I'm fine, though. And he's like, but I thought, and, <laughs> and she's like, look at me. What did you do? And he said, I deserve to be stabbed after what he did to you. Mama switched it up. You stabbed my son's father? He's like, what? You have a baby by some dude that used to put hands on you? So he didn't know that that he was did not know. the baby daddy. He didn't, I don't even know if he knew she had a son. <laughs> exactly. I don't think. Like, what? You got a baby? Right. <laughs> by him? By somebody that put their hands on you? What? I'm so wrong. She's like, that's beside the point. That's a, what did you do? Why did you do that? That's besides the point. Why did you do that? Right. And he's like, I did it for you. And she's like, no, you didn't. You did it to prove a point. To who? I'm not sure. The streets. Right. My brother, like, you took our trust and you threw it across the bridge. Across the bridge. He said, I did it because I love you. And she said, first, love yourself. And mama left. Yes. <laughs> she left. Allie, let him know. She said, first, love, love yourself. yourself. Love thyself. Come on. Let him go. <laughs> I don't got time for your little fake love. <laughs> so, <clears throat> next scene, Sashay, she's looking like she in a struggle. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. you know, 
money low, ain't got a house. You know, she got to pay her own nails. She really got to. She's upset that she has to pay. Oh, yeah. She's, I don't know how to do this. She said, what is this? How do you do <laughs> how this? How do the colors get on my fingernails? <laughs> What is what? Can I watch a YouTube video? Right. What What do I have to do? So Ebony comes in. She got the groceries. You know, she got and her hair done. New, new hair. She's hair, like, I don't know hair. about you, Sasha. <laughs> um, and I, I bet you Sasha's real name is probably Sasha, but she's being extra. What you thought? <laughs> it was Stacy. Yeah, her Sasha. Name is probably Sasha. Yeah, but she, she likes she, to be Sasha Shante. Yes. Yes. So Ebony, you know, like how she asked her about her iPad, but you know, Sa- Sasha, she's still using it. <laughs> so she goes to get um, Nate's iPad. So um, she comes back down and she's furious. Like she's real tight right now. She finds out that Nate is cheating. Yeah. So Sasha, she's livid. She's she like, takes nah. The iPad and she does her own investigation. She's a nah, nah, nah. The iCloud is filling <laughs> the tea. So what's up? <laughs> what's good? <laughs> She's like, um, I don't like seeing you like this. So what we need to do? She's taking off her earring. She's yeah, like, let like, me know right now. Let what's me know the plan? Now. Let me know. So Ebony, she runs back upstairs. No, Ebony oh. first. She's crying. She's like, we have a son. Right. <laughs> what we have do? Son. What so Shay's like, girl, let's go. I've been waiting all summer to fight somebody. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Ebony can't take it. She leaves. So Shay's the friend you need in your corner at That's all times. That's her time. sister. Yeah, the sister. <laughs> okay, so. The final scene is Stacy. She's back at her house. Um, Stacy doesn't wear clothes, just so you guys no, know. No, no, no. She just wears lingerie and yeah. a robe. That's yeah. her. That's her outfit. Yeah. So she finds out she's pregnant, and she is super happy. She's filled with joy. After he threw her on the couch yes. and said, "Have my dinner home. Yes. You're irrelevant. You're, irrelevant. You're irrelevant. nobody. You just want to be seen." She's Happy to have She's this happy. man's she baby. Said, thank God. She said, yeah. She thinks she won. I've been praying for Yes. Her. Thank you, Jesus. Girl. No. No, baby. I mean, I'm... I'm. Congratulations. Congratulations. But no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 mommy, no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. So that's how the episode ends. <laughs> So let's get into the finale episode of season one, episode seven. Mm. So Stacy and Nate are having breakfast. Mm-hmm. You know, she made him a little breakfast or whatever. But you know, they're playing around. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Like, yeah, what's this? What was humble? Eat this, whatever. So she's like, all right. So you remember you told me I was trying, just trying to be seen. Remember that? So well, people gonna be seeing a whole lot of me over the next couple of months. So she hands him the pregnancy test from her bra. From <laughs> from her bra and hands it to him. Girl, gross, disgusting. From her bra. From her bra. Like, come on. Come on, girl. So he he's like, he's confused. What's this? He was I'm just staring at it like, what, what is this thing? You know exactly what, this is not your first time at the rodeo, <laughs> Nate. You know exactly what she that said, is. Don't stop eating. Keep, keep eating. Keep go eating. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So she's like, it's a positive pregnancy test. I'm pregnant. You about to be a new daddy. Mm-hmm. So he's tight. He throws it across the kitchen. Like a little child. <laughs> He is immature. He threw it. He threw it. He's like, you think this is a game? She said, no, but you do. Mm-hmm. I don't care about your wife. I don't care about your son. I just care about us and our new family. So, let's start with the name. Yeah. Um, I already started thinking. I'm open to suggestions. Already? Girl, already? No, I fell out. I'm but open to suggestions. Like, so, let's start thinking about this family. I loved it. I loved okay. it. I loved it. I started it. thinking about some names. <laughs> I'm and I'm open, open to some suggestions. Yes. So, like, what, what do you think? What do you think? I'm thinking, mm. <laughs> we already have a Nate Jr., fine. Yeah, um, great, I guess. I guess. So, he puts a, um, money on the table. She's like, what's this? He said, that's the baby's name. She's like, money? Cash? Cash? I mean, it's Guap, a name. Guap? Benjamin? Um, paper? What? <laughs> I don't... He's like, how about abortion? <laughs> I'm like, that's I fell out. I'm like, that's a weird name for a child. <laughs> I fell out. He said, how about abortion? <gasps> wow, Nate. Wow, Nate. So she throws the juice at him oh, and they she tuss- flipped out. They they flipped out. She um they tussle and they like fighting and he's like, do not have this baby. If you um, have this baby, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Yeah. She said, No, I'm gonna make you and your wife's life a living hell. 
And so he storms out as usual. Stormed out. And she's like, go back to your corny wife. I saw you over here every night. Like, get out. I'm having this baby. I'm man. having, I'm this, having baby. this baby. This scene was great. I love this scene. I love this scene. So, so she starts talking to herself. A lot of people in this show talk to themselves. Sashay, Stacy. <laughs> That's how you deal with your aggression. That's how you deal with your aggression. She's like, I can't stand him. I'm telling his wife everything. Everything. But then she cries. Yes. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the hormones are here. Yes, she's pregnant. So the hormones, yes. Um, but mama, she's hurt. She's mad, but she's hurt. She wants him to be like, baby, I'm so happy that we're yeah. having this child. But come on, Stacey. You really thought he was going to be happy? A lot of women are delusional. Yeah, yeah, she is delusional. Because... It's what he's telling her. Like, he probably did tell her one day we can have a future. I don't think so. The way he told her, like, you just want to be seen, you know, <laughs> I would never leave your wife. She's delusional. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, okay, so Keith meets up with Nate to give him the money for a little saint. And Nate is like, I bet, by the way, how's your mom? So he's like, Oh, you mean Mary? I don't know about that yeah, lady. About Mary, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Yes, Mary. He said, same old, same old. What same happened? old. Like, and then Nate's trying to give him like words of advice, like for forgiveness. What's your mom? Well, I ain't seen her in a minute. My nigga called me Mary. Y'all, still the same shit. You know that lady? Bro, listen, listen, listen to me. Gotta learn forgiveness, bro. She can wait for that shit, yo. Listen, bro, you gotta cherish the people that are closest to you, bro. What happens if she in the grave soon, bro? Listen, how am I supposed to forgive somebody that put the bottle before their kids? I ain't say we gonna be easy, my nigga. If you gotta make that first step, man, go the fuck up, nigga. The nerve to be giving anybody advice. Anybody. What about your life? <laughs> you got a lot going on. You can't be dropping gems to no one. You don't have that right. Yeah, you don't. Because when Ebony finds out about this quote unquote baby, you think yeah. she's going to forgive you? You're going to give her these words of right. advice? But we're going to get there. You, know you got to cherish the people that are closest to you. Do you cherish Did you people? cherish your wife you and your son? your son? Come on. Okay. Nate, come on. Oh, Nate. So Keith's not really trying to hear it from him. So he's like, How am I supposed to forgive somebody that put the bottle before they kid? Like, tell me how. How? 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 Sway? How? <laughs> So they joke around. He's like, you know what? Just grow up. You know, you'll you'll learn. You'll learn, right? He's like, let's go. Yeah. So then Nate gets a call from Bones. Was it Bones? Yeah, that was Bones. How he, you know it was Bones? It was his voice. I just heard a muffled call. <laughs> no, that was Bones. <laughs> that was Bones. Wild, oh, crazy, changes, angry self. So he he's like, Mike said he coming for you and your kid. Yeah. You didn't notice that was Bones' voice? No, I did not. Yeah, that I was Bones. That was, um, I don't know who I thought that, that was. That was Bones. So then that changes everything. Nate yeah. is like, nah, work? Oh, Fuck that. Okay. So Mike and Goon just chilling. Nate run up, taking off his shirt. He's trying to stop him. He runs up on Mike and punches him in the face. <laughs> so Goon jump up in Capri's. And <laughs> he and Keith start going at it while Mike picks up small ass Nate yes. and pins him to the wall. Yes. But like Nate is like, Punching him, well, yeah. elbowing the hell out of his and back. Keeping going to fight in. Everybody's fighting. In the, fighting. Everybody's fighting Everybody in the corners. Fighting. So then make make. So then Mike done had enough of this fighting and losing yes. the breath. So he just pulls out his gun. He's like, I done had enough of this. Right, right. You got me bleeding out here. Yes, I'm not about. <laughs> this I'm not life. about this life. So Nate not scared. He runs up. He's like, Go ahead, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith is like, Nah, nah. Let's not do this, nah, guys. Nah. Don't do this. You so, just told me about forgiveness. <laughs> You gotta cherish the ones you, you love. You gotta cherish the ones you love. You just told me this. <laughs> so he pulls um, Nate away, and then they leave. But it's funny because Nate told him, like, all y'all do is hide behind a bullet. Right. To, so that's why he was like, what's up? Like, what's let's, just, let's just do this. Come on. So he heads home, and to his surprise, Ebony has set a mood, mm, right? Light, light. Lights are dim, candlelight oh, dinner. Yay. Got the wine. She got on a bralette. I'm thinking she had on lingerie mm. at first. No, she's not, she not like Stacey. No, she's not like Stacey, but mm. that's her husband. Yeah. Um, so he thinks he's about to put in work. Yes. So she tells him to sit down. She gets him a little shoulder massage, and then she straddles him. Mm. You know, he's kissing all over her neck. Little does he know, mama got a knife. And she got a plan. <laughs> she got a plan. So he's like, so she says, you know what's more plain? So she says, you know what's more painful than a broken heart? is when your man is the one to blame. So he stops. What's going on? She immediately puts the knife to his yes. neck. He's like, uh. 
what you doing? <laughs> what, what what's happening? Up? This what's is up? new? So she's like, so you really thought I was going to sit around and compete with this bitch? Mm. Who is she? Nate is very calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, he ain't got a knife to his neck. Of course he's, he's like, calm. I don't know what you're talking about, but because you moved the knife. <laughs> right, because you, uh, you can so, just uh, move the knife. So she was like, why? So Bubbles can enjoy the ride? Mm. I mean, that's what you have her saved in your iPad as, right? Bubbles? Who that? Where's she from? Where's she stay Where's she at? stay at? He's like, not around here, okay? Okay, you just told on yourself. I just want you to know right, that you right. just yeah, told yeah, on did. yourself. I mean, she had the evidence. So there was nothing he could do. She's like, my mother was right about you. You never turn a bastard into a husband. Don't do it. So what you gonna tell Nate Jr., huh? What you gonna tell him? And he's like, can you please, please just move the knife? Like, that's all I'm asking. Can you just move the knife? She's like, you you worried about this little knife? You worried about this little baby knife? Look what I'm about to do. <laughs> so she storms off. Yeah. She goes alert the whole neighborhood. Alert? She was like, this is a PSA. Attention, attention. Yes. Brownsville. Everybody. Listen, listen up. up. PSA to Brownsville. My husband made it three years. Yes, get the fuck. Get in the house. My husband get made it get three get years. He's been cheating on me with a bitch named Bubbles. Get the fuck off of me, nigga. The, the bitch, yo, where the fuck is Bubbles? The Bubbles, where you at? Get off of me. House. Bubbles, where you at? I'm here 24 7. Come see me. She goes, I'm here 24 7. You ain't got no job? No. Come see Nate over here fighting her, trying to get her in the yeah. house. She got the nerve to say, get off of me. You causing the scene. Who's out here making a PSA to Brooklyn? Who's making the scene? She's Ooh. like, you're making a scene. And he's like, and he's like, get inside the house. Get inside. And she's like, I'm taking my son. You ain't taking him. She locked him out. She taking him. She's, she's taking him, she's, she's taking him. She took him. She, she's taking him. <laughs> So, um, Stacey's talking to herself again. A lot. I mean, she don't have much people to talk to. <laughs> so she, she got me, myself, she, and I. That's, that's it. All she's, she that's all she got. She's like, he always trying to play me. He always trying to play me. And I, it's all right. I got something for him. So she makes a call and she's like, what's the MFI? So the guy on the phone is like, all right, he's about to come now. So we see who's about to come, and it's Sergio. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what's happening now? And that voice was the guy that was calling Nate. How do you be picking up on these voices? Girl, I pick up on the voices. It makes okay. sense. So um, she's like, I want this to hurt. I want this to really hurt. He's like, yeah, just like we did DJ. I said, ooh. Er? Er? <laughs> so she's like, yeah. So the guy on the phone approaches Sergio. He's like, hey, uh, Nate gave me the call to take you to the airport. You a valet now? This is, you you a that's, chauffeur? That's not even my concern. My concern is Sergio. Oh, okay. Say, yeah. <laughs> Show me which car. Which car? Where are you parked? <laughs> you don't know. Did Nate call you and say, Didn't I'm sending someone? He's not about this life. Sergio, you. And then the guy says, can I, have, can I take your bags? Sergio. What? what? This you don't do Uber. that. This is not a Uber. This is this New is York. You don't this let people get, take. This is not a Juno. Talk about it. No. <laughs> no. Some random guy at night talking about taking to the airport. You don't know this guy. You never met this guy. Nate, Nate never, never told said you. Anything about this guy. I'm sending you a guy. He just said, pack your bags and, and leave. leave. You supposed to take the bus. First of all, not I no think airport. he gave you a bus ticket. He sure did. You gonna take the plane to Philly? That's a waste of money. <laughs> Everything's not to be laying low, boo boo. How are you gonna go to the airport? What? They going make them stupid. Stupid. So, yeah. So then we get a montage of everything that went down the whole season, and to show that Stacy was behind everything. She big mad. She big mad. So she planned all these, all these pieces to killing DJ to now maybe about to kill. Um, Sergio, so I was surprised. Yeah, let's get into the let's, QCC. Let's do it. Because I'm, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say. Right. I got a lot. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Bye -bye.
Never overdose. I just want to feel alive when I lose control. Killing me softly is life. So don't put where they come right. Pin them my two way home. As always, guys, remember you can be a part of the conversation too. So send us your QCCs and we'll read them on the show and give y'all our thoughts. Email us at seriouslypodcast at gmail or DM, comment, and tweet us at seriouslypodcast. So my first question is, if Stacey did all of this, girl, what was your your plan? What was the end game? You killed one of his best friends. For what? Right. Why? Why? Okay, so my, okay. Did you think that he would run to you and be like, I let's run away? Right. Maybe she's trying to off his whole circle so, so she's he, the only one that he has to run to. Oh, that makes sense. Sense, maybe. But girl, but you're like, doing a lot. But and you're killing Sergio, who's the, probably the least, the last person on the list of people. And think. this one is supposed to hurt? <laughs> I want this to hurt. Yeah, that's the insert. Yeah, he, he just was acting towards Lil Saint. Like, he's not even thinking about Lil Saint. And you... He's sending Sergio away. Yes. Like, he don't even want to see Sergio. But then, last episode, the cast told us that that's his, supposed to be his cousin or something. Oh. So, maybe that is supposed to hurt. Oh. But I don't know. But then, episode one, who sent you? The girl. Stacy. Yeah, that was Stacy. But why would she send him... He's just a pawn, him. I guess. We're gonna have to. Uh, okay. When then, Bobby come. Yeah, we're gonna have Bobby on the show talk about season two special, but we're gonna get these questions answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But another question I have is why is Bones trying to mess up everything? Yeah, why is everybody upset with Bones now? Like, no, I know why they're upset because Bones playing. First of all, <laughs> you know, you know, um, he really hates Sergio that much to the point that he had to lie and say Ali was in the hospital. To test test Sergio, knowing Sergio was gonna do something really I really think, bad. I think Bones has, of course, something against the trap gods. Yeah, he definitely don't like them. So he he was he set Sergio up to kill Ed, and now he set Nate up to fight Mike. Like he just wants to off all the trap gods, I guess. Yeah, maybe he think he's gonna be next in line. But, but not the trap. I'm talking about for scammers. But why? He's killing off the trap guys, though. No, he he sent Nate after Mike, thinking maybe Mike's going to kill him. Oh, so okay. So that he would be next in line. Bones. This is too Everybody's much. doing a lot, much. Much. a lot of work. A lot of work. Y'all doing a lot of, For what? Y'all doing a lot of work. For, lot. for what? For what? For what? For what? I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, Will Keith talk to his mom? No. He's not. He's pretty much off with Mary. Yeah. He's over Mary. It's cool. It's cool. Um, I did have Ebony, one. girl, I don't understand why you... You had a knife to his neck, and you oh. thought, I got something better for him. I'm going to go embarrass right. him. You were about this But knife. you're telling everybody your business in the process. Yeah. You're yelling to everyone, my husband cheated on me. How are you... You're embarrassing yourself You're as embarrassing well. Yourself. Your husband of three years, of girl. Of three years. You told the whole neighborhood, my husband of three years has been cheating on me yeah, with Bubbles. Tell- but you're not trying to fight him. You're trying to fight Bubbles. Right. Bubbles come see me. That's come, my main I don't issue. like when women do I that. I hate that. With They're women. not going to approach the man. They're going to approach the women. Don't. Because, I mean, obviously. No, Stacey needs to get these hands. Cause she oh, yeah, definitely. She needs to get these hands. But in but, some cases, it's like you go after the woman. Sometimes the women don't even don't know even that you know. even existed. Don't we have no clue. Because your husband's out here playing foul. Yeah. But are you going to forgive him still? Like, yeah. Probably yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. It's happened many, they many times. fight the girl. Fight the man. To prove He's what? What are you fighting the girl for? These women. Oh, girl. Mm. Stupid though. Stupid soul. Um. Poppy? Poppy, Poppy. Ed? Who Poppy? Oh, Ed? Oh, yeah. So, can we talk about that? Yeah. So, is Ed dead or not? Ed? Are you dead? Or Ed, are you dead or not? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> Mike said that he was killed. So yeah. Dill killed him. Then you fast forward and Nate is like, Ed is about to be dead. But how was he about to be dead when you just heard from Mike that he right. was so, dead? I'm so confused by that. Maybe, I don't know. maybe Ed, maybe... Nate got some MFI on the way to see Sergio. Possibly, possibly. He probably heard that... He's fighting for his life. Yeah, still alive. I don't know. 
Allie. Allie. Girl. Sergio ain't hear from you in what days? Yeah. He over here he 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 killed somebody for you. You didn't know about this. <laughs> Allegedly. Granted. Allegedly killed someone for you. You didn't know about this, granted. But you you didn't call him? Like right. that's supposed to be your boo. Like you, yeah. you didn't call him? And then you told me, Oh, I was just at my homegirl's house. Yes. No. Oh no, you been missing for X amount of days. And this supposed to be your boo, boo or whatever. Right. And then you hugging him like, Oh, he misses me. No, girl. Girl. We thought you were fighting for your life. Yes. Or maybe she just got back and she called him to meet her there. Maybe, but it's like, even when he said, Bone said that you were fighting for your well, life, she was just like, oh, no, I was just at my friend's house. And, and as she was at her friend's house, she could have said, oh, hey, babe, or yeah, hey, boo. I'm, I'm at, at my, my friend's house. house. I can't deal with the drama. I got robbed. I right, because he was basically she, staying with did she her. she a bruise on her face? I feel like she did get slapped by that guy. Who she probably it. did get slapped, but. but that's about it. She could have gave him a so call. A heads up, right? Because yeah. it would have changed everything. Girl. Everything. Your baby father wouldn't be dead. Right. Or allegedly dead right now. And how did he not know that that was your baby father? Because the son's in DR and she was hiding the pregnancy. Nobody knows. Nobody knew. That's not crazy. Not even Bones know. That is so crazy. Nobody knows. The son is overseas. Overseas, she don't know exactly where. Just let me know when he gets back. Just let me know when he get back, so mommy <laughs> could see him. Yes. Nah, nah, nah. No, girl. No, no, no. Um, no. Sashay, you gonna get a job or nah? Come on. You just wanna fight, like. That's <laughs> she's it? wanna fight. She's because she wants it easy. Oh she yeah, you can tell she's not she's work. very used to someone taking yeah. care of her. Well, I guess she's trying to change, which is why she didn't tell her her sister about the, her being evicted. You know, she wants. To why were you own. carrying that eviction notice? Just out and open. If you don't live there anymore, <laughs> why how did you get it? How did you, how get, did you get it? it? And why are you carrying it if you moved in with um your sister? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> we just carry important documents. In your short wallet? Because that wasn't like where a... Where is... You, why, why don't you have a purse? Where's your stuff? <laughs> why, why don't you have You're a bag? You're evicted. Where's your, where's where's your, your items? <laughs> where's your... I don't think you have enough money for storage. At I don't all. Know. What Sashay is, something? What something something not adding up. Adding up with your storyline. Yeah. <laughs> girl. But I need you to get a job, girl. Need so you to get you, a job, definitely. But her, she wants a sugar daddy. Get a J-O-B. And as far as Nate goes, get a life. Get, get something. <laughs> <laughs> he has too much going on. He don't know where to put his focus. He's giving energy to the wrong things. Mm -hmm. You know, your friends out here, they need you. They looking up to you to make sure that they good, but DJ dead. So they probably thinking like, am I next? Cause yeah. Nate, Nate's Nate's head a is not in the leader. game. Horrible leader. Because oh, cool. for the simple fact that Mike has to tell you that what that why he's looking for surgery, you don't even know. Yeah. You don't even know. You don't even know. You have no clue. My main thing, we didn't talk about it before, but when he finally saw Stacy, why didn't he check her? Like, why yeah. were you at my house? Why? How do you know my wife? Why didn't I not? That's why I questioned if that whole thing was already knew, known by them. And he just walked in smiling, and she's like, where you been? Where you was at? What you been doing? And is Nate staying there? How come? He got two homes, why for did, sure. Why did Ebony have to go through the iPad to figure this out? If he ain't been home, <laughs> if he ain't been coming home, I think that's sign enough that he's Girl, cheating, mama. Girl, where did you think he was? I, I mean, he's a scammer. I get it. <laughs> I would understand a trap guy being out, out all night. night. But a scammer? A scammer? That's daytime. That's, That's daytime, daytime work. <laughs> all right, so that was it for um, episode five, six, and seven. Um, next week, we will be back with the season two special. Um, so make sure you guys watch that on Amazon Prime. And we're going to have Bobby in the building. Yes, Bobby, we got a lot of questions for you. You yes. know this already. Yes. So if you guys have questions, send those our way as well. We can ask him, you know, any behind the scenes information you want to know about the cast and characters. We'll get those in for him. And yeah. Um, make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play. Yes. Like us. Let, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And you know, that's it, guys. So thanks so much for listening and bye. Bye.